Good morning, good morning. Thank you for tuning in to the Ask Xena radio show on the Good News radio station. I appreciate you jumping out and joining me today. Today is hump day. It is the day before Independence Day, the day before we celebrate and eat some wonderful barbecue. I'm going to be having a Beyond Burger barbecue. Have you had the Beyond Burgers? They are delish. They're all plant-based. It is wonderful. It's great. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I have a really special guest. We're just going to have a, a great conversation, as I always do with this guest. But, you know, uh, I wanted to tell you guys to to be safe Um to really take one moment of this great weekend to reflect on how you are living your life and how you are living your legacy with your independence. Because in this crazy government that we have and this craziness going on, independence can be taken away. And we've seen that, you know, we've seen that. We've seen different acts and different things that have occurred. So I just want you to reflect because if you come from a place of gratitude after reflecting, you're going to have an amazing weekend and the fireworks will be internal, right? All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you again for joining the Ask Zena radio show on the Good News radio station. Hey, you know, you can download the app and you can chat with me live. If that is what you want to do, if you ever want to do that. So go to Google Play or the App Store and just download the Good News radio station. Uh, Oh, I'm putting on some music here. Come on now. (laughs) Uh, The Good News radio station and you will um, be able to listen in and chat and talk and And if you wanted to do that anonymously, because today would be a great day, because guess what? I have a relationship expert here on the line. I will introduce him. He's amazing. This energy that this guy has and his swagger is so cool. So this is my friend Tyrone Parker. Tyrone, come on out. Hello. Hey, let me turn this down. Hold on, let me turn this down because I've got scuff stuff going on here. There we go. Hello, hello, Mr. Tyrone Parker. Good morning, Zena. Good morning. How's it going? It is wonderful. The weather's going to be great here in L.A. Getting ready for the 4th. How are you? I am doing absolutely wonderful here in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, where it's 100 plus degrees the last few days. But I am just enjoying the holiday, looking forward to the weekend, and I am ready to go. All right. Well, what I didn't tell people, as I didn't tell them all the amazing details about you, and you can just chime in in a minute. So he is an inventor of, I'm going to say a library of adult conversation, relationship, getting to know, fun, fun games. And I'm going to tell you about my experience with some of those. Um, and, and he is an author of nine published books, but I'm going to say a library of books because first of all, I just don't even know when this man sleeps, like when he has the time to sleep because he's always creating. Um, the other thing that he is, is, first, he's an amazing human being. He's a, a faithful spiritual man. And also, he is a relationship expert. Yes. And he's not, he's, he's going to be very humble about the relationship expert, but he has helped people to understand their, their self in terms of what they bring into a relationship, how to have a conversation, how to go on your second date and your third date, how to explore, how to peel back the layers and just start um, learning more and more about this person that you're engaging with because, and Tyrone will tell you about this. So often we just, stay at the surface level. We don't have deeper conversations to know who it is we are really getting intimate with. And I'm not talking about, you know, intimacy. I'm talking about intimate, like telling your secrets, your details, pouring out your passion. Come on, Tyrone, jump on out. 
Yeah, you know, you, you, you're nailing it right there, Zena. You know, one thing I tell people uh, when you're dating, that you know, I give some, some facts. And the very first thing is you should start your day and finish your day with a prayer every day. Mm. Because when you're dating, your life is it's, it's risky. Your life could be in danger because there are people out here, they look good, they smell good, but they have separate agendas. And then when you connect yourself with them and then you fall for them and you, you're really digging and jiving with the flow of the relationship, you don't know what you're getting into. And so that's where the prayer every morning, every evening comes into play because dating and, you know, my book is called The Mental Gymnastics of Dating. And there are some serious gymnastics going on, but we're ready for the Olympics there. But you just have to prepare <laughs> yourself and understand the facts. Well, I and think people. I want to oh, go ahead. About a few of those facts, Zena. Well, I no, I want you to. I want definitely to, you to tell people about the facts because here's the thing that I have learned, and I'm 52. Like I have learned that we don't ask enough questions, and it's not like a, an interview. We can casually be eating and say, "Oh, so what was this like? Or what was that relationship like? Or you know, we don't ask these questions." I've talked to women, and they don't even have a deeper understanding of what their partner's goals are or what their passion is or, you know, or, or, and you can touch upon this or we hear something. So I, I'll just, I'll I'll share that I had a friend that I was coaching and this guy kept saying, Hey, I don't want that kind of relationship. I don't want that kind of relationship. And they were in this, whatever it calls quotations, air quotes, right? For eight years. Mm -hmm. And she would get livid because she felt like he wasn't committing and he wasn't doing this. And I'm like, hey, the guy keeps telling you year after year that he doesn't want that type of relationship. But yet she would say to me that his actions are saying something different. And I'm like, you guys are just not even connected. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, then, so the part of that is before we get to the questions to the other person, to the significant other, in the very first chapter of my book, it focuses on you. And that's a big part of dating because you need to understand who are you, what are you looking for? And a lot of times you may not know that. And I say in the book, if, if you're 30 years of age and older, you should have seen a therapist because at that, at around that age, you would have had a certain level of trauma that would have happened to you, the loss of a mother, father, the loss of a brother, sister, grandmother. Maybe your dog died. Maybe you were in a car accident. (laughs) These are traumatic situations. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes in our community, we don't go talk to people, professional people, about how we're feeling. As a result of not doing that, Zena, you end up getting older. Now you're in your 30s, your mid-30s, and ultimately your 40s and 50s. Then you find yourself in these relationships and you're going back and forth. And a big part of that is really you as the individual. Absolutely. And so I tell people right out the gate, you, before you walk up to anybody and say, hey, here's my number, let's get together and let's talk, understand who you are. And that could take months, Zena. That, that could take a little, little time for you to really unpack who am I, what do I want? You know, what, what, what moves me and what doesn't move me? And then I'll say this and then and I'll shut up. It's not so much as what people say to you. It's what they don't say. Right. But in order to understand what they don't say, you have to be in tune with yourself and say, hey, I'm sitting across from this guy. Well, I'm sitting across from this woman. And, you know, they're saying all the right things. But. I'm waiting to hear this and I'm not hearing that. And and you won't know to turn that antenna up if you don't know who you are and what you're looking for. Wow. And that's a big part. And that's why I say with the, with the facts, Zena, here's the thing. There are no exacts in dating. There aren't, you know, my parents have been married over 50 years and I just heard my dad say the other day, uh, yeah, I don't understand your mother. I mean, she just was she that woman that said any other. And I sit here and I say to myself, now that's interesting. Now here's a couple that has been married of over 50 years, Zena. Wow. 50 years. That's that's longer than almost you and I have been on this planet. And if they're still in this space of 
I don't understand. And, you know, then there are no exacts. And so the, right. the, the sooner we can set that expectation, I have, you know, I'm married. My wife is Carmen. I don't have huge expectations of her. I want her to be who she is and her to be happy because in that, then I get what I want and then I'm happy. And then if she's dancing to a tune that I don't dance to, then because I spent time with who I am and I know what I'm looking for, then I can brush that stuff off. I can say, okay, we're going to let that ride for a minute. That and then here's the other thing, Zena. I tell people in dating, in the beginning, there will be lots of lying. <laughs> there will be lots of lying. But that's a good thing because what, what lying does, and it's on both sides, and we all do it, it protects the inner person because I don't know you. I just met you. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you about my, my siblings, my parents, my job, how much I make. You know, so I'm not going to just straight out lie to you, but I'm going to kind of control down the truth. Okay. And so – you have to understand, particularly for women, and when you're coming into this beginning of dating relationship, there have been a lot of untruths that has been put on the table. And it's okay. And you want to be there. But the other thing in dating is this word called progression. Mm. As, the, as the weeks progress by and the months go by, then we are starting to jive a little better, Zena. And then now I could be a little bit more truthful about where I work and what I do and all of that stuff. Okay. Then you could be a little bit more truthful about who you are. So just know that in the beginning, there'll be lots of lines. So set that <laughs> expectation. Oh, my yes. gosh. Okay. So I've never heard it that way. But when, as you were saying, I was like, ain't that the truth? <laughs> about the lies but there are a couple of things that I, I really think that I want to point out and I want you to go into just a little bit more is is uh, not just we as women but but we as individuals we need to know we need to do our own personal inventory on what we bring to the table and and <laughs> And what we're willing to bring to the table, right? So as you say, the progression of a relationship, maybe we're not willing to bring everything to the table in the beginning. So we do tell those lies. We do, we do water down those versions just a little bit, but personal inventory is really big because I do a lot of coaching with women. And what I see is that the conversation after a year, after two years is only about the man, what he's doing, what he ain't doing, what he's doing, what he might be doing, what he ain't feeling, what Da, 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 da. And and I'm like, well, where are you in this <laughs> this relationship? Because if we're focusing on someone else's faults and everything, and the and not only faults but the things that make us really happy, what are we doing? Where are we contributing? And so I think going back to our inventory is very important because we get lost. We get lost in that. And I and and I, I'm going to touch upon the lies towards the end because that's big. Um, but you also said that you don't have any expectations for your wife. And that is huge. Now, I know both of you guys and I love both of you guys. And I think you guys have an amazing relationship. A matter of fact, uh, I'm going to tell a real quick story about when the first time we met that Tyrone has so much swagger that there were three women. I came to a conversation party and we were like, oh, and first of all, he's a very nice looking man. But I did say he was married. So go out there, y'all. He's married. <laughs> and I know Carmen's listening somewhere. So, um, you know, the women, we were all single and it was like, oh, he's nice looking. And he both both Tyrone and his brother are very, very humble men very um they're gentlemen and so as we walk this walk women sometimes we're not used to men that will hug us or that will kiss us on the cheek or that will appreciate us being women because we don't know who we are and so we automatically assume that it's something else right Tyrone you know where I'm going right and so correct. because yeah what were you saying I said, you're correct, Zena. You nailed it again. Yeah. And so, so, you know, he came and introduced himself and, 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 and told us about his fiance at that time. And I was having a conversation with these women and one of the women was like, well, why does he seem like he's flirting with me? You know, if you don't know and feel comfortable with who you are, you will always think that something has an agenda. 
Let me say that again. Yeah. If you don't, women, men, if you don't know and know who you are and comfortable within your own spirit and your own being, you will always think that something has an agenda or someone has an agenda. And that wasn't the case. And so going back to you setting the expectations and not having any expectations for your wife and just wanting her to be, that's another thing that I don't hear in relationships. People are like, well, I expect him to do this. And I expect, cause I sit there and I listen to divorce court while I'm working. <laughs> and it's like, I expected him to do this. I expected him to do this. How does that work? I mean, you're talking about some really, strong, strong foundations in a relationship that I don't hear. I don't hear people talking about. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what, Zane, to that point, in, in my book, The Mental Gymnastics of Dating, at the end, I have 100 questions mm-hmm. you should ask yourself before dating. Yes. I have 100 questions you should ask yourself while dating. Then I have 100 questions you should ask yourself after dating. So let's go back to the beginning. 100 questions you should ask yourself before dating. And the number, the question number one in this book is, who am I? Who am I? And that's a very, that's a deep question. And you, you're not going to get that answer overnight. And in most of the books I write, you, you need to meditate on them and let God bring you the answers. And so what you were saying about setting expectations, once you know who you are, As we say in the hood, nobody can knock you off your square. Mm. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. This is who I am. I I have, I'm flat footed and I can tell you exactly who I am and where I'm going. Now with a partner, with my wife, I, 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 I wanted her to blossom. And if it's something that she does that I'm thinking, now that was foul. Now why would she do something like that? I quickly check myself. I don't approach her. I said, well, you know what? I know who I am. I know what I'm on. And even in my wife, who I love very dearly, I cannot allow that to get in the way of where I'm going because I'm under the guidance and direction of God. Mm-hmm. And when you know that, and, and, and that's a big, big bucket to, to fill, you know who you are. And you've spent time and you've talked to therapists. That's why the first chapter in the book, Zena is go talk to a therapist, understand your baggage, and let's unpack that. Then as you start to, hey, I want to date. You know, I I can use some companionship. And then you know who you are. Sure. And then when there are certain situations in the relationship where you can't seem to, you know, an impasse, you say, you know what, now you have the tools within you to say, you know what, here's how we're going to do this. Okay. I'm going to let that go. We're going to let that go because you know who you are, Zena. And that's a huge piece of dating. It's just understanding who you are. Yes, yes. So I know that we can talk about that piece. I, 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 I wanted to share um, a little bit about the games, about how intuitive these games are. And then, you know, we're just going to have a conversation. And, and wherever it goes, it goes. Because um, I think that th- there's just so many nuggets that I've already received, right? And I can stay on that topic uh, for a long time. But I know that the listeners want to hear more. But, you know, we did a birthday party celebration here in L.A. with... Tyrone and his brother Andre and we had it was huge it wasn't like a traditional birthday party we did conversation party and we did games and I don't know the name of this game but this game is so darn accurate that it blows my mind. We did this game at my conversation party. We did this game in Arizona and it's the one where you put the number on your chest So you line up like 10 women, figure me out. (laughs) (laughs) Let me tell you about figure me out. (laughs) Oh Oh my gosh. (laughs) I mean, that game, you know what? Because I'm a recruiter. So I go back because I listen. I, I do all my phone interviews. I do all my interviews on the phone. I never see anyone in person until they get hired. And so, um, 
so their energy and how they carry themselves comes over the phone, right? And I'm like, mm, not going to work in this organization. Mm, not going to work in that organization. Why am I telling you guys this? Let me tell you a little bit about Figure Me Out, and then he's going to tell you about Figure Me Out. Because Figure Me Out is where you get a, a group of women, let's say 10, 10 women, and they all have these numbers on their chest, one through 10, right? And, and, mm-hmm. And then the men, then these, there, there's these random questions that someone is asking the men. The women don't get to see the question, and the men are not speaking the question out loud, but they're yelling out the number because it's a high-energy game. <laughs> And so they're oh, like, boy. yeah, they're yelling out the number. And so a question might be, uh, who do, and, and they go from full gamut, y'all. Okay. They go from G to, to X. <laughs> so, and, and these questions are random. And so you don't know if you might get a PG and then you get an R, then you get an X, then you get a whatever. So we play this uh, at my, well, I won't go into specifics, but we played this a couple of times and, and, mm-hmm. It's based upon how you show up, right? How, how what people mm-hmm. are thinking about you. Like everybody walks in a room and then you're like, mm, okay, she looks interesting. Mm, she doesn't look, you know, whatever. So one of the questions that it was is like, um, this person lost their virginity f- before they're 18. And I'm paraphrasing, you know, the questions I don't write. And so Mm-hmm. all the men are like, it's number five, it's number three. And so the women are like, well, what was the question? Why are they all saying me? And then as we reveal right. the answers, this is the amazing part is you reveal the, as a woman, then the game is coming to a conclusion and the women then reveal the answers because they see the cards and they read the cards. And it was like, yeah, I did. And it's almost so darn freaking intuitive that every person for every card, it was like, how did they know? How did they know that that was yeah. me? And so there have been some questions. And I won't go into a couple of the questions that, that like everyone was screaming out my number. And I was like, what does that mean? What does that mean? And when I got to the question, mm-hmm. I was almost a little embarrassed that that little secret was revealed. Right. Because it was yeah. like, how did how did they know? But it's because I guess I showed up. And so women, it's not about what you wear, about, you know, your makeup, how fleek you are, how whatever the words are. Men, it's not, you know, it's not about your swagger. It's your energy shows up. So I'm going to give it to Tyrone because he can tell you all about this game that is amazing. Yeah, I'm so glad you put it that way, (laughs) Zena, in terms of it's not about what you're wearing. And the name of the game is called Figure Me Out, and I have several other games that that kind of do the same thing here. The game really, and I've been told to be really careful with this game, Zena, because what it's doing is we have fun, we laugh, we have a great time. But what it's really doing is it's helping people to realize who they are from a complete stranger. Yes. And the accuracy of it, because – we we form these opinions about people before we even meet them. We all do it. We all do it every day. If you get on the bus, if you go to church, if you're going to work, you see people getting on the elevator, you have this uh, perception of who they are. Most of the time, you're absolutely 100% correct. There are times when you're not. But in the game, Figure Me Out, we have these phrases and questions on cards, and you have to, uh, to, to figure out which one of the 10 women the question fits best. And when we do that, we pick a number. We say number five, number seven, or whatever. And then that person then has to read the question and then give an answer, yes, yes or no. Well, what's happened, Zena, is after the game is over, we've played the game, we've had a lot of good fun. When people have that realization put on them, in other words, the game has been blowed. You know, you put all this makeup on, you look pretty, you got your heels on and your, your dress or whatever, and people can read through that. And the same goes for the men. What happens there is what has been happening is people come back and they say, well, Tyrone, let me ask you, am I really like that? Yes. I I have to be honest. I says, well, that's what I received from you in the beginning. Yes. Yes. But I'm not like that. That, that, uh, you know, I want, I don't want to be, I used to be that way. So I used to be that way because I'm wearing my mask, but this is what everyone sees. Wow. And, and that's what everyone sees, a complete stranger, Zena. You play this game, you could have 10 men in the room, 
and nine of the ten agree that this particular question fits number two, person yes. number two, with number two on their chest. But and hold on a second. Two, this is no, what... No, 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 no. Tyrone. That's but, not me. Yeah, but, yeah. but the thing is, is like... The, you have to play this game because I, ha- I just have to emphasize this. If the women are sitting up front and I'm talking about probably 90 percent of the men are saying, nope, number two, number two, number two. Maybe half of those men haven't even talked to number two, don't even know her name. She that's just correct. walked in the room. That's and that's the power that's of this game. Yes. And so then it goes further. Then, as I said, then after the game. That person comes up to me or someone that I know of that shares it with me. And am, am I do do I give that off? Is yes. that the energy I give yes. off? Well, you just had ninety percent of complete strangers <laughs> said yes. Exactly. Now, you can ignore it if you want to, but that's how you're showing up in life, and yeah. it's just you're wearing it on your sleeve. And ninety yeah. percent of the men <laughs> they're seeing that. And so, the, but the game to play the game. Zena, we, we, we did this for a party. Zena hired us to come out to L.A. and we did the game. It was just unbelievable. It's just it's so much fun, so much learning, it's so a much lot growing, of fun. and so much reflection. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you about the accuracy of this game. So we played it in Phoenix, and I had met this couple um, in Scottsdale at my friend's store, and I'll give her a plug, uh, uh, spiritually bold. Um, they now have a grounding mm-hmm. center, <laughs> but Liz now has a, a center in Phoenix. Um, but anyway, I met this, these people at Liz's store on Saturday. We probably talked about a good 20 minutes. Her husband was there. The lady was there. She was, uh, attending a, um, women in growth conference for the cannabis community. And we just kind of hit it off and 20 minutes in the store. And I said, Hey, you want to come to a conversation game party tomorrow? And they came and they didn't know anyone didn't know anyone there. And we played this game. And this is, this is, this is how real this game gets (laughs) y'all. And, and, but, but I didn't even know this because I only met these people for 20 minutes. And the question was, I remember this so vividly. The question was, who has cheated on their partner? Mm-hmm. And about uh, about 80% of the dudes were like, number three, number three, number three, number three. And I looked that's at her, like, I, I looked at her husband because I was like, oh, that's not going to be cute. Like if, you know, that's yeah, not going to yeah. be cute if that comes out. And he kind of moved to the back of room and didn't say anything, right? And I was like, uh-huh. oh, you remember, right? Yes, I do. I remember that couple very well. <laughs> yeah. And so so when she pulled up the card and we're getting ready to answer and she says, the card says, um, you know, this person has uh, cheated on their partner or their spouse and, you know, whatever. The, it was it was about cheating. And she hesitated. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this ain't going to be good. <laughs> I was like, this is not going to be good. But and she <laughs> and she openly and honestly, she said, absolutely. She said, absolutely yeah, right. right. No, not only did she yeah, say she did. right or yes, she said absolutely true. Mm-hmm. Absolutely yeah, true. Did. And her husband was, and everybody turned around like, um, is this, are they revealing something? But they had already worked that mm-hmm. out. They had worked that they out did. in their marriage yeah. and already, and she was like, he already That's knows. It. And she was like, next. And I was like, wow. Uh-huh. That's yes, some real very, stuff. Very, yes. It was an awkward moment. Very awkward. <laughs> but but they, they handled it well. But but to your point, then, that's the beauty of this game. And when I create these games, uh, I want to give people real life situations. Yeah. But let's have some fun with it. You know, yeah. I, I turn it into a game. But when you're done playing my game, you're going to then look in the mirror and say, wow, I've got some work to do. Yeah. And And, and then when that happens, then I know that what I've set out to accomplish has accomplished. Wow. I've got, and so with that game, figure me out. That's our most popular game. And people have so many revelations with that and says, wow, man, I, yeah, how, how are complete strangers that I've never met before in my life able to look at me for 20 minutes and say, Oh, you know, that, that's step for number three. She's the one she yes. cheated in her relationship, her right there. Yes. And then, and that was eighty percent of the guys picked her. Yes, and it was a reason. Yes, and 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 
I thinking about the couple now, I would have never, you know, would have never thought about that. But yeah, I can't remember some of the specific questions that that came to me. But that's an amazing, amazing, accurate game. And um, so I want to talk about that other risque game, that one that's kind of like, so again, I say, you know, Tyrone has created these games that go from full gamut. Hey, Jackie, I need to introduce you to Jackie because Jackie is one of our um, one of our podcasters here and she hosts a show called Ladies Night and I know these ladies would love some of your games. Um, the other game that I'm talking hey, about, <laughs> Tyrone said, hey, the other game that I'm talking about that is um, very risque and uh mm-hmm. but a lot of fun is the game that has all of these positions and questions it's like a monopoly board and it's positions and questions and who did what when did this happen and you can't use the same name twice so let's say there's 20 questions oh. yeah and i'm like yeah. okay uh, first yeah. first kiss was richard um first date was john And then if I went on my first date with Richard, even after I had my first kiss, I can't say Richard again. And it goes around and it even asks like, you know, questions because we're in a fluid society and some people are doing some different things. And, you know, it also says, well, who in the room would you be attracted to? And so you could be in a room with women and men and you're like, um, I, you know, who have you slept with at work? But what I like and so even though it's a little risque what I really really like is it goes deeper with the levels of conversation and exploring people and exploring the humanity of people and just really just getting to know people so some of these people will say adult games oh no that's too risky but you know what if you don't go a little bit deeper you're not going to go a little bit deeper and when you go deeper and you can touch upon this Tyrone there you tap into that joy there you tap into that authentic authenticity authenticity of your being Mm -hmm. and and you really start to feel it's so much better when you go deeper because you just have a greater Mm -hmm. understanding life becomes lighter versus all this surface stuff that we're dealing with what about that game and so Zena, with that yeah with that game it's called the list the list everybody got a list right so i call it the list but I say that that game came about because I, I have lots of friends and family members that are dating, but they're not being totally honest about who they are and, and in the relationship. And some of them are in two, three, four year relationships and they still have a lot of secrets. And so that game is to help them to open the door to have that conversation. And I say this, Zena, to people, if you want to get people's attention nowadays, you can no longer tap them on the shoulder. Mm. But if you hit them in the head with a sledgehammer, you'll realize you have their strictest attention. Yes. And that's what this game does. Oh. This game comes right at you. <laughs> and as, as Venus says, it's a little risque. So <laughs> you, you're going to need to be a little mature and adult. Yeah. But you, there will be no doubt at the end of this game, if you bring your lady friend, your wife, yeah. your husband, or whatever, there will be no doubt that there's going to be additional conversations in the car on the way home. But that's what we need. We have to hit, get extreme Zena nowadays to get people to open up. Let's talk. What's on your mind? Where have you been? Where are you going? And this game, believe it or not, it seems a little sexual and a little risque, but at the end of it, on your way home, you're going to have some really, really deep, as Zena says, deep conversations. Deep conversations. Jackie, these games can be played for men and women, but hold on. I mean, that game right there, Jackie, would be great for a ladies' night, um, a bachelorette party. I mean, all of his games are, are um, you know, that, that men and women can play. None of them are just for men and women. Uh, and it's actually really great when you just have, you know, engaged. But some of the games are, you know, that like that game would be really great with just your girlfriends and, and you know, mm-hmm. drinking some wine and stuff like that. You know, when you talked about... um I don't care about the risque stuff, but when you talked about like, you know, really having to get in your face, uh, you know, the shift has has occurred. You're a spiritual man. You come from a spiritual religious Mm -hmm. family. You are God centered. I know that. But but you also Mm -hmm. don't take offense that if I drop an F-bomb or if I'm really real with myself and have a conversation. And I will tell you why, because Tyrone understands that that you have to meet people where they're at. And not only that, it's sometimes 
you have to use that language to get someone's damn attention, right? You have to drop something for someone to say, oh, wait a minute. And so he's not, he's not going to crucify the messenger because of the message. And so I, and I, I'm going somewhere with this because <laughs> these games, I have been with Tyrone and his family and we have played these games and the people have been in their 20s to in their 80s. Yes. Yes. And, <laughs> and I'm thinking specifically about, I don't remember the game, but it was a question that was asked to me. Oh, it was like, um, uh, it was a sexual question, but it was like, uh, you know, what do you do to make him smile? And I, and I thought about it and your friend, I think he's 82. He was in the back of the room and he was like, Oh no, no, no. At yeah. the end, of, at the end of the party, him and his wife <laughs> pulled me aside. He was like, girl, what you do? I want to know. She was like, yeah. can you just tell me what you do? <laughs> and they were like, but they were engaged and they, and so life doesn't end after 50, 60, 70. I mean, it's just amazing. So, um, uh, you just, yeah, you can play the games with your partner. You can play the games one. I mean, they're great, Jackie, with playing with your partner and exploring and getting to a deeper level because they're games. They have that level mm-hmm. of, of laughter and fun and play. But you really get yep. the, the questions are so deep that they seem simple, but the questions are deep that that it, you know, makes you expand into another relationship and another conversation and evolve your relationship. But but uh, yeah, they they're for all ages. Mm-hmm. They're for any age. So what else do you have going on? Tell us about some of the books. Tell us about some of the other games. Yes, yeah, Zena. So you I mean, you, you, you bring up the topic of sex. I did a workbook on the simplicity of sex. You know, I have a daughter and she's in her thirties now. And again, I, I, I'm on this, this new energy of, you have to be very honest with the young folk today. You know, back when I was growing up and you were growing up, Zena, we, we couldn't use certain curse words. There was no Instagram. There was no Google and certain things you couldn't say. We couldn't even say cigarette, butt when I was growing up, you, you get smacked in the mouth, but we have to change as the times have changed. And with this workbook, The Simplicity of Sex, I have that conversation with my daughter. She is embarrassed when she was when she was younger, was embarrassed to have these conversations with her daddy. But I knew that I'm going to have these conversations with you because no other guy will come up to you and say, oh, you're cute and you're fine. We're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend. (laughs) It's going to be you and I. And then next thing you know, you're all gullible. And then he's just kind of swoo and sway you one way and then you're all in next thing you know you're having sex that's not going to happen unless you want it to happen and that's where this book comes in Zena. we are going to lay out the truth you you we have to be honest and direct with people nowadays yeah. there's no more room for well let's hold off well that's a too deep a conversation to have with him mm-hmm. well that's too deep a conversation to have with her we have to stop that yeah. Now it's and you know, we have more and more suicide. Our young folks are killing themselves yeah, because exactly. they're frustrated. They're confused, and depression, and they, they don't feel like it, yeah anyone loves them. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I don't have anyone to turn to. Well, that's not going to happen to to my daughter on my watch. Okay, because I'm going to come straight to her and hey, here's sex. Here's here's what it does to the body, mm-hmm. and here's what what's going to happen to you afterwards. And here's where I need you to to. Put it on your heart where you want to put this in terms of I want to continue to be with him or I don't. I used to tell my daughter, and she went to Wisconsin. She's a Badger. If you want to sleep with the entire starting five, she dated one of the basketball players. If you want to sleep with the entire starting five of the Wisconsin Badgers, then you do so. But you do it only because you want exactly. to do it. Don't yeah. let anybody talk you into, oh, well, now you this, and girl, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to help buy your books. And, uh, you know, stop that. Now, that's not going to happen. because it, it's, it's not true, and you know it because you've been there and I've been there. And so that's what this book is about. And then I've got other workbooks. I just did a seminar on a book that you and I put together, Zena, 21 Days, 21 Ways to Attract and Sustain Meaningful Relationships. There's your answer, Jackie. I'm, Twenty. I, I, yeah. Jackie asked the question, are these books to help find a partner? So tell her about the 21 Days. With the 21 Days, Zena kind of planted a seed with me and said, Tyrone, you know, our community needs to get right. They need to get seen. They need to get connected and get involved. And ultimately, they need to get happy. So I started doing my research, Jackie. I says, well, 
what does that look like? And so I use the formula that was already out there. And so if you, you go into a lot of these seminars, they talk about mindset. So the first thing I said in the first uh, part of the 21 days, you got to get your mind together. And what does that look like? Well, let's remove fear and doubt day one. Mm-hmm. Day two, let's open yourself to new ideas and new thoughts. And then as we go further, the next thing in the days, the 21 days, is your body. We got to work on your body. Well, what does that look like, Tyrone? Well, let's start this day with a complete workout. That's day number five. Day number six, let's eat mindfully. Mm-hmm. And, and day number eight, schedule a physical. So many of the people in our community are walking around and They've, they've not had a physical in years, and, and their body is falling apart, and that can be avoided. And then further down the line, Zena, we talk about healing, day number 10. But Pray. Tyrone, I'm, I, so I'm going to be pain. devil's advocate here, and I'm going to say, sorry, I'm jumping out. I'm going to be devil's advocate here, and I'm going to say, but I just want to find a man. You want to take me through 21 days of all these exercises, because you know people are going to say this to you, right? I just want to find a man. Can yep. you just can you hook me up with one of your, you know, somebody? I know you know some people. You got football players. You got actors. Come on, give me a phone number. You know I'm a good woman. Stop all of this book stuff. <laughs> I just need a man. Right. Okay. And you know what? And I'll introduce you to one. <laughs> Absolutely. Because, again, I'm dealing with adults, right? I've got a friend of mine. He's a retired New England Patriots friend. Very, very good friend of mine. Uh, but you be very careful because I wouldn't trust him across the street. But if you just want a man, you just want to hang out with somebody, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I'll hook you up. I got you. All right, come on. Uh, so and so, that's so and so. So and so, that's so and so. But go. to have a deeper relationship, yeah, you you're saying day. you need to go through these 21 days to to then do the inventory to, to then, it. yeah, yeah. Because I'll you tell you what to. happens just from me being a coach, and you know this too, Tyrone. When you get real clear on what it is that you want, people pop up, mm-hmm. phone numbers yeah, pop up. I've met people in Facebook that I didn't even I was I was not even accepting applications. And I've met some really great guys that we're still good friends. You know, I introduced mm-hmm. you to someone just recently that I met on Facebook that it was like, mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I'm not yeah. looking, but a really super great guy, you know, and and I mm-hmm. wanted him to go to some of your conversations parties. But when you get really, mm-hmm. really clear and you clean up all of that, that that self doubt and that self talk. You don't have to tell anyone that you are looking for a man because, you know, me, Tyrone, mm-hmm. I don't know. Some of the listeners might be they may not have seen Zena, but I'm short. I'm chunky. You know, I'm brown. I just cut all my hair off. I got a little hair, but, you know, mm-hmm. and, I, and I'm not conceited. This is one thing you, you know that I, I'm not conceited, but I don't have a problem meeting people because I'm very clear on who I am and what it is that I'm looking for and what it is that I'll accept. I, I can go, I have a friend and you met her and she was like, she just collect an inventory. It's just a, some another inventory for her for later. But I'm not collecting anything personally because I'm just not. But but I get approached and I get talked to and it's just, I, I tell someone that I met this man on Facebook and he reached out to me and they're like, as fine as he is, da, 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 da. but you yeah. get clear. And that's why I wanted to, I wanted to just say that for the ladies out there, but your book helps you to get clear. And then you are just a magnet out in the universe, attracting whatever is supposed to come to you. Right? Exactly. But and listen, Zena, the 21 days is something, even if you're not in a relationship, because the book is about maintaining meaningful relationships. Maybe you want to have a relationship with your brother. Maybe you want a relationship with your sister, your sorority sister, your fraternity brother. This book, really, if you go through the 21 days, before you're done with the 21 days, the, 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 the mindset, the body, the healing, and then in the later days of uh, the 21 days, we call it take action. You're going to start to think differently. You're going to attract different people. It's been proven. I mean, I didn't create this. I, again, I took what was out there, I researched it, I put it into my own words, I put it into my own flow, what made sense to me. But this is a proven, proven tool. And that's what I stress with my, my lady friends particularly. I say, listen, you need to take some time off. And we say 21 days because they say it takes 21 days to make and break a habit. And so if you take these 21 days, and on each day you do this, 
And we're going to work on your mind first. Then we're going to work on your body. Then we're going to work on healing and forgiveness. And then we're going to take action. And, and then, as I say, in taking action, the, the, the first day 15, it says stop being a fool. Day 15, and to take action, stop being a fool. And that's easier said than done because, as you said a second ago, Zena, women see guys on Facebook or social media. They say, oh, he's fine. He's got a nice body. He drives this kind of car. He's got this kind of money. And then we, we lose all of the training. We, we, just, we just lose everything. And then that gentleman can come in. He can say anything he wants to say to you, and boom, it's on. Yeah. Well, we have to stop being a fool. And th- by the time you've got your mind together, your body together, and you've done the healing, and the healing is a huge part of this because so many people in our community, Zena, we're hurting, and yes. hurting people hurt people. Yes. And we need to heal. We need to forgive. Yes. And we need to answers to this. And so the 21 days is going to walk you through that. And, you know, I just thank you, Zena, for planting that seed. And when we put this book together, it's about meaningful relationships yes. and how to sustain that. Yes. You know, because when we're dating um, and we're not clear, um, I have I have clients that I coach, uh, that I have coached, uh, that can't let go of knuckleheads from the past. And, you know, because this wonderful thing called oxytocin, <laughs> which is the love hormone, which uh, is created in our body. Um, you know, almost has the same effect of getting high or something like that. It, it, it masks what we are actually in the reality feeling, right? So oxytocin can come from attraction. It can come from kissing. It can come from affection. It can come from sex, but it is the love hormone that we actually create in our body, men and women, but more so women, because there was a book that was written many years ago about this woman who was dating a man. I I can't remember. She was a recruiter at Disney. She wrote this book about dating a man. And she was like, he was so good. That oxytocin had me getting in my car at three o'clock in the morning, trying to track him down. Mm-hmm. don't don't yeah. like be really clear with who you are and what you bring to the table. And so you won't get caught up in, in some mess because you'll be able to know what it is you are willing to accept what it is you want and what it is you deserve. That's the thing, what it is you deserve. Right. But remember Zena, we said at the very beginning of your, your podcast show here is that when you're dating, your life is in danger. You've got some really great con artists out here, men and women. I mean, these people are great at what they do. And so you're, when, you, when you're about to start dating, your life is in danger. And, and I mean that seriously. Now, I mean, I'm not saying you're going to get your, your throat cut. They're going to rape you or anything like that. I'm saying from an emotional standpoint. Emotional life, yeah. And that's why. It's important in the, the very first questions before I start dating, I, I, I researched a hundred questions that I came up with. The first thing that I, you need to understand is who am I? Mm-hmm. Because that way, when Mr. Smooth walks up and he comes along <laughs> smelling good, looking good, whatever, and then he starts throwing these lines at you, Zena, then you'd be able to say, uh, you know what, baby, you know, thank you. I appreciate it, but but I'm good. I'm exactly. good. And then you're less likely to fall for it because – Truth be told, you know, who among us hasn't been there? Yeah. You know, we've gotten in the car at 2, 3 in the morning, and, you know, we just got to go have some, right? I mean, who <laughs> among us hasn't been there? And, and that's okay, but that was then. We're older, and we should be making better decisions. And these books are to help you, and you as a tool, to help you get through that period. Yeah. And even if even if you're not older, they're just to help you to understand what it is you want, because I think a a study came out uh, about two weeks ago that uh, millennials, particularly millennial men, are um, they're they're sexless um, because of all the stimulation and, you know, porn and all this other stuff. But one of the reasons, one of the big reasons is they were saying they were sexless is because they just don't know how to have a relationship. They don't know how to be with someone. They don't know how to engage people. And so, you know, it's, uh, you know, looking for help is think about this and I'm going to bring it down to the most simplistic way. Looking for help is like another, another outfit that you put on. It's, it's just, it's just stuff that you have in your closet 
that helps you look better, feel better and go out there and do better. So don't think of looking for help, like getting a help book or learning a a game or getting coaching as, oh, my gosh, there's something wrong with me. It's not. It it's to enhance, to better, to elevate, to expand, to grow. You know, to to have um, diversity and creativity. It's it. You know, so these games and these books, all of these books are really to help people um, to understand and to grow. Because I know who you are as a person, Tyrone. You just really want to help people. I mean, I can imagine. Yeah. You know, when things blow up for you, that. Uh, Carmen's going to have to pull you away from people because anytime anyone has a relationship question and you could be anywhere, Tyrone's going to stop and answer that question. (laughs) He's going to answer. Yes, yes, yes. So you know what? Um, Tell people how they can get in touch with you. Tell people what you've got going on because, I mean, we could be here for a long time. (laughs) But I know that people want to know how to to reach out to you. We can have you back again and we can talk specifically about one of the books next time and just go deeper with that. But you have so much. You have so much. You're a left brain, right brain person, which is really unique. And I'm grateful for being your friend. But just in case someone wants to get the books and and they want to reach out to you and they want to know when the next conversation party is and all of your good stuff. Tell them. Yeah. So first I want to thank you, Zena, for just kind of reaching out and, and, and just being my friend and, and you and I, we've, we've gone through several of these parties and games and book signs and you've helped me tremendously. And, and Zena did this. She helped Tyrone Parker out free. She, she realized I didn't have any money, but she knew that I had something here and I want to work with Tyrone to do that. And she not, not only does that with Tyrone Parker, and I thought I was special, but <laughs> Zena does that with a lot of people. And, you know, just, just bless your heart for you, Zena. I thank the Lord for people like you on this planet that, that kind of reach out and says, okay, I know you can't afford me, but I want to help you. I'm going to give a blessing to you. So I want to thank you for that. Thank you. To, my website is in the construction right now, Zena. Uh, but you could, your audience can email me at parker.consulting at hotmail.com. That's parker.consulting at hotmail.com. And then we can have a discussion there. I can uh, send you some books. Or if you want to have a game night, Zena can tell you all about those game nights. They are revealing. They are exciting. They're fun. And we're still talking about the, the game nights years and years and years. years. I mean, every other week, someone says, man, Tyrone, we yeah. got to do another one, man. We had so much fun. And the beauty of my games, Zena, is, again, they're self-reflection, just yes. like the books. They're workbooks. Yes. And, and people then can uh, look in the mirror and say, oh, boy, I've got work to do. Um, and I don't like what people are seeing about me. That's when we know the games are effective. And so... Email me, parker.consulting at hotmail.com, and uh, we can talk about doing a game night for you if you need a copy of one of the books. Um, we've got a book on etiquette. we got a book on happiness. We have a book on uh, fear. We have a book on blended family, baby daddy parenting. And so we've got quite a library here, and I would love to share these with you. And, again, they're workbooks, so you got work to do. Mm-hmm. And then that's how you can get a hold of me. Yeah, and they can find you on Facebook too, right? Uh, I am on Facebook on the Mr. Tyrone Parker. Yes, okay. that is correct. All right. You can inbox me on Facebook, and I'll get right back to you. And and I haven't shared this with Tyrone, but I'm thinking about doing another birthday party coming up in September. Oh boy. And so, All right. yeah, so um, I know I've got to do a volunteer workshop for my actual birthday, but um, I'm thinking about doing... <laughs> an all day game conversation, come casual, let's kick it birthday party. Stay well, let's tuned. Talk about that, Jen, you know, I have quite the library and uh, we can do a whole weekend if you want to. Ooh, <laughs> a whole weekend. <laughs> oh, I just got really excited. Jackie, all your ladies can come to my party. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. my goodness. And, you know, on that note, Zena, uh, we're trying to take the games, as you know, to the next level. So you can buy them at Walmart. Or you can go to Target or wherever. you Amazon, buy them online. And so we're looking for funding. We're looking for partnerships. We're looking for people that want to invest in us. 
and see what I'm about, see what these games can do for people. And let's get on board and let's take this to the next level. Absolutely. Those, I, I cannot say enough. I've never said anything negative or anything. Everyone who is, who, everyone who's, who went to my birthday party, and I don't know, we had like about 60 people there or whatever. And I mean, people still, still, I mean, if I called every one of those, that would be 60 people in attendance plus anybody they want to bring their plus one because it was just such an amazing time. And so I, I'll say this and I always tell people about this because they don't, they just don't understand until they experience you. So we had a DJ and nobody wanted to dance. I mean, he was a he's a great DJ. We had a ballroom. We had, you know, sit down tables where we were eating and playing. No one wanted to dance. And it wasn't like the party was over at with at one o'clock in the morning. I think people were still there to what, three hanging out, trying to, yeah, you know, the hotel, <laughs> hey, the ho- the hotel kicked us out. Zena. Yeah, the hotel staff. kicked. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's people wouldn't day. leave. People wouldn't leave. They were just all into these games and wanted to know more about the books and everything. And I'm talking, I think we started dinner service around 6. So that was a long night. People were just blown away. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Tyrone Parker. I love you. I love the Parker family. Thank you for your friendship. Yes. And any way that I can love and support you guys, let me know. Um, I will be in Arizona. So the next time you do a conversation, party i'm driving down anyone want to drive down with me it will be an amazing time reach out to tyrone on facebook or his email is parker.consulting at hotmail and thank you thank you thank you for tuning into the ask Lena radio show i hope you have a wonderful amazing fireworks uh eat some good food for me i'm gonna have a beyond burger which is all plant-based hey i love you and thank you for tuning into the good news radio station check out all of our other shows check out jackie the ladies night on friday hey we are going to jump out here and move into existence and just say goodbye Bye-bye. Thank you.